What's going on, world? It's Trucker One on One. <laughs> Today's segment I wanted to talk about, man. Uh, talking to the customer with respect, man. Uh, well, you know, I seen this guy. You know, um, we I watched when well, I we I came into uh, shipping area, shipping and receiving area, and um, you know, you pretty much you bring your load in and. Um, made it in there, <clears throat> made it in there, and the guy was, um, he was running late, and, um, she told him, yeah, your load's late, you know, we, you were supposed to be here at this certain time, blah, 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 um, he threw an attitude, right off, out the gates, you know, and he, he got the, he got the, bad mouthing them and all that good stuff, you know, and, you know, the lady was like, well, you know, uh, we can't help it that you were late, that's your fault, you're supposed to at least call ahead and let us know something, and we can work with you, but you didn't, so he kind of went off, got to cussing and stuff like that, and I was like, good God, you know, I've been late before, you know, I've been late before. I mean, it probably ain't gonna be the like that. Ain't gonna be the last time I've been late. You know, there's it all kind of stuff that happens when you're out here driving, man. It's it's like you 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 may run into bad traffic. You may have a wreck on the road. That may be road construction. You may get get tired. You know, hey, you, when you get tired, you just get tired. Last thing you want to do is is crash your truck and somebody's damn car, man. It's about being safe. You know, it is what it is. You know, so first thing you do, call your dispatch. Hey, man, hey, I'm I'm getting tired, and I don't think I can pull this out. I'm 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 not gonna be able to make it, man. Uh, I gotta pull over and get some sleep. Um, can you give them a, give them a call, and I'll give them a call too. Also, let them know. And especially, you know, me personally, if I come in, <clears throat> I come in, I make it in. I'm, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna talk to you know call, talk to the ship you know the receiving people you know at the front desk and say hey man I'm uh, here's my paperwork I'm with so and so oh you know you're running late yeah I was running late yeah I'm sorry I, I got tired last night I'm on my you know I'm on my 34 hour reset I'm about to have my 34 hour reset and so I've been running I've been running hard all week um, and so. Slide, let me slide in there. You know, I need I just really need to get this in here so I can get the paycheck. That's my paycheck. You know, I have to go on vacation, whatever it is. You know, you can use something, you know. You know. Uh, and usually they do it. You know, last time uh, I was, there was this lady, it was a lady and a dude in there. And um, what was I at? I was in, um, it's like Pennsylvania. No, no, I wasn't in Pennsylvania. I think I was in Iowa or, or something like that. It doesn't really even matter. Um, no, I was in Chicago. Yep, that's where I was. Yeah, it does matter. But uh, I was in Chicago. <clears throat> and uh, the lady, um, she was wearing a Chicago Bull, I mean, Chicago Bears jersey. And then the other guy was wearing a hockey, you know, hockey, some kind of little hockey shirt that we had Chicago on it also and so I was like oh okay okay you know so I was like so how's how's your team doing and she goes oh my gosh I thought you would know because um you're on the truck and I was like well if I was I, I can't do that I can't listen to this you know I can't listen to the to the to the game and be trying to drive a truck I've been on crash truck getting excited and stuff like that while I'm on the road you know what I mean you you, you you know, I said, I'm, I'm vibing with them. I'm vibing with them. So at, at the end of the day, you know, she was, you know, we conversated for like two or three minutes, and I told him, you know, I was like, I'm a Cowboys fan. I'm a Cowboys fan, you know. And she was like, Oh, I'm so sorry for you. I was like, Yeah, a lot of people say that, but it's okay. We're America's team. <laughs> and then, you know, they talk their crap. They say what they do. You know, they do what they do. And so, you know, at, at the end of it, they were like, You know what? Yeah, back way back in the door 21, you know, and I was like, oh, awesome. I appreciate it so much. And she was like, oh, you know, 
You're okay. Go ahead. Back in there, and we'll get you right. We'll get you unloaded in about next ten minutes. Uh, just chalk your wheels. Slide your tandems all the way to the back. Awesome. Boom. You know. <laughs> so then, you know, and that's one thing. Another thing, you know, like um, I plan on getting my truck, my own personal truck, um, coming up this next two weeks. I'm going home in, in about two weeks from now. So as I'm going home, I'm gonna. going home so what I do I'm gonna I'm gonna go home and I'm pretty much somebody's calling me I'm not gonna answer it but um, I don't even know who that is I don't even know who that is decline um, probably somebody scamming or, or you know to, whatever back to the story so plan to get my truck in the next two or three weeks <coughs> and when I do I only plan on driving in the Texas and the surrounding states. You know, no, I'm not trying to put a whole bunch of wear and tear on my truck. There's enough money out here to get it, you know, run there and come on back. Um, and on top of that, I can build up rapport with certain companies that you may see more than once. And then you can talk to them and say, hey, man, you know, you know, I, I got my own truck. If, am I able to, you know, I, w I would love to, like, start carrying y'all loads myself. And start doing that more, a, you know, more often, and they get to know you. And when you talk to them, you know, and then you're handling them, you know, you're you're, you're talking to them with respect because you got to give some to get some, you know what I mean? Um, and not all, you know, and and in this industry and in this world, you know, a look kind this take you a little a long ways, man. It really does, you know, it really does. You, you just can't be just popping off at people. Just because you're you're a little upset, it is what it is. Things happen. Um, that's what it is, man. I'm, I mean, I, I look, old buddy, he just kind of kind of tripped me out. He kind of went off popping off at the mouth of the lady, you know. So, and I look at it like, oh, I could have finessed that situation, and they would have got me loaded. But not everybody, not everybody's the same, you know. So it is what it is. So that's my goal. Is I start getting trucks out there now. A few other trucks I may have out there running wherever. But me personally, my truck, I'm gonna stick around in the Texas regional and the surrounding states. So yeah. Because they could, you know, it's, it's just good to start building relationships, man. Something that's gonna be long term. You ain't gotta hustle for your money. You ain't gotta run around with your head cut off trying to chase chase the money start coming to you. I got a cousin that, you know, her and her, her husband, that's what they do. He's an operator. He's an operator. And, um, he pretty much, he only stays local. He drives his truck local. You know, and it's like, what, I believe they were like four or five hundred bucks per each load. You know, and, um, sometimes maybe three, I think, what, he, what she said. And he, they're able to stick around in the area because when you're not driving so far out, you're saving on fuel. Less wear and tear on your truck. You know what I mean? And if that's your if that's your home state or your home area, you know that area. You know where the where the, the where the bad traffic areas are going are going to be at. You know how to get around it. You know what areas that you don't need to be driving into because when you're when you're out in your OTR and you're out here. You don't know where you're heading to a lot of times. You just know the main highways. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of a uh, save yourself some of the headache. So, yeah. Hold on, let me get over here because I'm going to have to get over. Uh, uh, never mind. Headlight. Uh, all right, whatever. But, yeah, so. That's one of the main things. What else did I want to get to talk talk about? Uh, uh, well, I guess that's it, folks. Y'all have a great day.